Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we're looking at the 5th grade concept of division, specifically with a 2-digit divisor and a 4-digit dividend. We will do it in 5 minutes or less. Now, just to make sure you understand the terminology here, our divisor here is 36. That's the number we're using to divide into the dividend. So our dividend here is our much larger number. So the divisor divides into the dividend. We're looking to see how many times 36 can divide into 1170. Our answer is going to be called the quotient. That's what we're looking for. Now, two-digit division is similar to one-digit division. You just have to do a little bit of estimation. So we're looking at 36. And you always start with the left digit, and you say, well, can 36 go into 1? Obviously not. Can 36 go into 11? No, 36 cannot go into 11. Can 36 go into 117? You see how I add one digit at a time, starting from the left. Yes, 36 can go into 117. About how many times? Well, this is where you have to use a little bit of number 6. 36, I'm going to be safe. It rounds up to 100, and that rounds up to 40. And the 117, that rounds up to 120. And 40 goes into 120 about three times. So I'm going to say it's about three times. And you know, I notice I put the 3 in the quotient above the 7 because 36 goes into 117. Now off to the side, I need to figure out what 36 times 3 is. And so that's going to be 8. That's 9. That's 108. So let's put our 108 underneath our 117. We're ignoring the 0 right there for a moment. We need to subtract. And we, what we need to do is we need to make sure that this answer right here is less than our divisor. So 9 is less than 36. That means we're good. We're ready to bring down the next number. So let's bring down this 0. Well, I know 30 times 3 is 90. So 36 is larger than 30. So I don't think 3 times is going to work. I'm going to say it's going to go in twice. And I know 36 times 2 is 72. I'm going to need to regroup here. Looks like I have a remainder of 18 now. My remainder of 18 is smaller than my 36, so that is good. Now you have several options here. Some teachers will want you to write this simply as a remainder. So we can say our answer is 32 or 18. 32 with a remainder of 18. Or you can write your answer as a mixed number. Your remainder is your numerator and your denominator is your divisor because you're dividing by 36 and if you can go ahead and simplify that the 32 stays the same but 18 is half of 36 so it looks like it's 32 and a half or some teachers might want you to go ahead and add a decimal so I'm going to add a decimal you can always add a decimal you can always add a zero because that doesn't change the value it just lets you divide one more time and we're going to add the 0 to the 18 here and you notice I put a decimal up there in my quotient and we're going to look to see how many times 36 can go into 180 and I'm going to make a guess I think it's going to be 5 let's just double check here it's going to be 30 it's 15, that's 18. Yes, that is 5, so 32.5. And 32.5 is the same as 32 and a half, because this is actually 32 and 5 tenths, because that 5 is in the tenth spot, and 5 tenths reduces to 1 half. Now it's time for you to try. Go ahead and get out a pencil and a piece of paper. Try dividing 1,125 by 12. When you get your answer, go ahead and start the video back up and check your work. If you take a look at the work here, the answer can be written several different ways. 12 goes into 1,125 93 times, and there is 9 left over, so you can write that as 93 or 9. Or remember, you can write that as a mixed number with the 9 serving as your numerator and your divisor 12 serving as your denominator. So 9 twelfths reduces to 3 fourths. Or you can add a decimal. You have to end up adding two more zeros. And you can get 93.75. Because 0.75 is the same as 3 quarters.